Hello. Welcome to another Writerly Witterings. Handsome, that's me, I hope. Mm. Today, we're going to talk about some interesting things, a little bit about some new diamine inks in cartridge form, and a Caveco cartridge holder, which is, I think, really rather delightful. But first, I've got to mention this. Yeah, it doesn't look like much, does it? It's two pieces of shoe leather stuck together, not stitched, because I thought that'd be difficult. And I designed it for my own use so that I could hold bits of paper and write on my lap. So this is my new laptop work desk for pens and inks. And it's quite neat, I think, because it has absolutely flat surface, which is great. It's got this at the bottom, which stops pens from rolling off while you're working, but it also allows you to grip the paper in it as well. And because I thought I wouldn't know necessarily whether I would want to have the paper gripped at the top or the bottom, I put a set of notches at the top so it can hold a bit of paper from the top of the paper as well and just give you a smooth writing surface. It's a bit silly. It's a bit strange, but it works, and I like simple things that work. So there you go, the Jex form of laptop working area, which has already actually had a commission of a nice chap in the States wants to have one of these as well. So um, I'm making a second one for him. Strange the things that happen really in life, isn't it? Right, now, I'm going to talk a little bit about some inks and about this nice new cartridge holder from Caveco. So I'll go over to my standing desk. See you in a moment. OK, so the first thing I want to talk about today is my Caveco ink cartridge holder because it's fantastic. For those of you in America who have ever shot a Ruger 1022, this is pretty much the same as the magazine for that rifle. It is just a simple little design. You have a whole bunch of ink cartridges inside it, and as you turn this knurled nut at the bottom, they all pop out. I'm going to throw them all over the floor now and make a horrible mess. No, I won't. I'll keep them there and be careful. To fill it, you just poke them straight in, turn the knob a little bit, and it's gripped because the top here is quite a flexible, soft type of plastic. Very neat, has the Caveco logo on the top. It fits in your pocket, and it's a fantastic way of holding your ink cartridges together, unless, like today, you forget where you put the damn thing, in which case your daughter laughs at you while you hunt around the house trying to find it. Never mind, got it now. And the great thing is that ink cartridges will fit a huge number of different pens. These are my Cavecos. Um, the Lilliput currently has got some delightful bright red ink in it, because what I've done is, with this, I have taken some diamine inks and this one as you can see there is royal blue imperial blue emerald imperial purple and monaco red which is a really delightful mixture of silly inks that um i carry because it i find it's really useful to change ink color regularly uh I'll use one cartridge. When it runs out, I'll go into another one. And that way I have a sort of um, gauge of how much writing I've been doing and when the notes I took were actually taken. These I got from Cult Pens. Um, they're not expensive. Uh, I should hasten to add they they weren't free. And in fact, they cost me quite a lot of money because these are the ones I bought a few weeks ago and I mislaid that box, and so when my daughter put through her last order, I had to order them as well. I'm pretty good at um, keeping cult pens going right now. Mostly it's because of my own incompetence, but never mind that. So we got a bunch of different inks, and the great thing is it means you can vary the ink colours that you're using when you're out and about if you use a variety of different ones. 
Now, I have to mention that this year, the Dartmoor Folk Festival is running from the 11th to the 14th of October. Uh, October? What am I talking about? No, I'm not. August. And it is the 40th Dartmoor Folk Festival, and there's going to be a huge amount going on. So if anybody is towards Devon, um, this is going to be held at the top end of Devon in a village called South Zeal. Well worth coming along to visit. If you do, you can also look up the craft marquee where you will find a guy called Michael Jex who will be signing his books in the craft marquee. Uh, any of his books that you want to get hold of, you can buy from there at the time. So come along. And I will see you before too long. Now, if you look at the top, you will see that there are links to previous videos. There are sections down the bottom to put in comments, put them in. Please like it and share it and subscribe and do all those lovely things. And then that keeps me in business. So look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks a lot. Take care.